Hello, Ed and Rachel here from Heart Breakfast. I've been a really good boy recently, so Rach has brought me to Dudley Zoo. He's been excellent. He's eaten all his dinner and everything, yeah. as you can see. So, you excited about the animals? I can't wait. Am I allowed to stroke them? Yes, and maybe feed some. This is the best day ever. So we're here at the orangutan enclosure for a very exciting glimpse of a very special new arrival, is that right? Dave? That's right, our lovely baby Sprout, the Bornean orangutan. And what is so sort of special and unique about orangutans and babies in particular? Well, they're one of our closest living relatives and they're now one of the most endangered great apes on planet Earth, uh, mainly due to things on Borneo and Sumatra. Uh, th things like uh, farming is a major problem for them and their numbers are dropping very, very rapidly. So to have a baby born is very exciting. can take up to nine years, would you believe, for a baby to be successfully born. Wow, okay. So, so she's time. a real special little thing. She is. Okay. She is very and how old is she now? She's just at 15 weeks today. Oh. Yeah. Mum's now showing off baby nicely down oh, there. Oh, it's beautiful. There you go. She's having one of those bad hair days at the moment. <laughs> I don't know this, so. It's about Around 10,000 of these left in the wild. The Sumatra and orangutans, even less, probably less than 8,000, it's estimated now. This is why captive breeding is so important for our, one of our closest relatives. Yeah. They, they spend in the wild up to 20 hours a day watching the world go by. Sounds like a great they way of life, really. They really they? are our closest relatives, aren't yeah, they? Yes, very much so, yeah. <laughs> I often say to school children, we actually get it wrong as humans, we should be doing yeah, a lot so more of this. Yeah. 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 People so, should be throwing us nuts. That's right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> So here we are, ready with our giraffe feed at the giraffe enclosure. Uh, we just have to hope that they think these leaves look tasty enough mm. to come and get them. My gloves aren't quite on properly, so I'm hoping the giraffe doesn't get hold of any extra bit of glove in the process. <laughs> I think but we'll find out. What are we feeding them? Raspberry bramble. Oh, oh nice! Yeah. <laughs> look at, quite like I that. fancy a little bit of that, to be yes. fair. So, how do you do it? What, right. What's the process? Basically, you take your brambles. Jurassic. You wait for a handsome male like Kubwa, who's just coming up behind Hello, us. Kubwa. And you hold your bramble out, right. and he just make sure he doesn't pull it too hard because you'll disappear over the fence. Okay. Go on, <laughs> give it a go. Hold your hands out. There you are. That's it. And down he comes. There he is. Nice and gently. That's One at a time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't overfeed him, whatever you yeah. do. Oh, what, I want to lure him back in, look. Oh, oh look at that go. sun. That tongue turned round. I know. Right, OK, here we go. Okay, here we go, Cobb. Right, <laughs> okay. There you go. Unfortunately not. Man. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> you just lean in and try and steal him from me. Lure him with your raspberry bramble. I just love the tongue. I love the tongue. Now, these tongues actually grow to nearly half a metre in length. They're pure muscle, and they use them just like your fingertips. They're called prehensile tongues. Wow. So if I hold this quite far away, will he give me a whole half metre of tongue? Well, hopefully it should come out fair distance if he wants it. Well, there it was. It shot out there, didn't it? There you go. Welcome to Lima Wood. Apparently there are 20 lemurs here who like getting up close and personal with you. To quote the keeper, they will probably bounce off us. I can't wait for that. <laughs> Any idea which way it is? This way. This way. Okay. You're not sure, are you? Are you ready? There you go. Oh, it's like Cheerios. <laughs> How's that feel, right? Comfy, actually, yeah. Everyone should wear a lemur. Uh, he's eating Cheerios, I think. Special Lima Cheerios. <laughs> they're cute though, aren't they? <laughs> Very cute. Isn't it brilliant that you can just walk through and they'll, they will literally just, you know, approach you and climb all over you. I think that's brilliant. <laughs> 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 Where did that come from? That tree! A <laughs> Lima just jumped out of a tree! Okay, 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 right. Wow. <laughs> came from nowhere and landed on my head. Yeah. The awkward situation now is after you've fed the animal, it's still obviously on your yeah. shoulder expecting more food and you're out of Cheerios. Well, I'm just going to wait <laughs> patiently and hope no more lemurs right. appear. Well, uh -oh. I'm going to go off and get oh, a cup of tea. Okay. I'll see you later. Can you get us an ice cream? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> in a bit. I'll just stay here. I'm, I'm more than happy. This is not 
Got nowhere to be. Have I? No, just me and you. Oh. There we go. Did you see that? So, Ed, did you enjoy your day at the zoo? Oh, I've had a brilliant day. We got to feed the animals and everything. You did like a bit of belly stroke. I well, loved it. And, and a few of the animals did as well. It wasn't just me. <laughs> can I get my face painted now? Yes, brilliant. You can. Come on. <laughs>